Brad. I think you should add some contrast. You need about a three and a half. And you know you want blacks in there with your whites. So which one are you going to do? Um, I think I'm going to do like one of each and then see which one. Oh, that's your filter. Three and a half. I think maybe I'll do. I think this one's perfect. But you might want to do like one second longer. Yeah, How many so seconds are you not using? Three second increments. Okay, so this is three, and this is six. Mm -hmm. So maybe you want to do six and then turn it up, know, or down doing? to one. What are you doing? Right one extra second. <laughs> Put in more light so we can see what the heck's going on. Oh, well, there you go. How's that? Can that you see looks, that better? That looks really good. Miss B inspires me because she has that kind of Tim Burton-y feel, and I have that kind of Tim Burton-y feel. So, um, between us two having that kind of same style, she is able to give me ideas or um, mentor me through something. She is an awesome teacher when it comes to functional. She taught me so many things. She is actually the person who has um, made me fall in love with photography. If she hadn't, um, like, if she hadn't shown me what photography is, and if I hadn't been in photography, then I don't know if I'd still be in love with photography. Photography is one of the things I'm going to be minoring in in um, college, and it's because of me that I'm going to do that. She always is, in, is encouraging me to work, and like, I don't know, she always gives me ideas, and especially when looking at her own work, I um, see a lot of stuff that I can relate to, and so I guess she, like her work also inspires me, and gives me new ideas. Miss B makes me think like outside the box. She makes me be more creative and use more of my ideas in everything. She always pushes me to do my best and she doesn't criticize anything that I do. She always says that it looks nice. She likes that I try my best even if it doesn't turn out the way I want it. Miss B is very different from her teachers because um, she speaks our language, our um, teenage language and we're able to interact with her as she is to interact with us. Um, she puts more effort into us than some teachers that I know. She's definitely more creative. She's a lot more laid back. I really enjoy her class out of all of my classes. Uh, the two that I have with hers that look forward to most. I mean, she's really, she's really a sweet person, like, through and, like, I can really relate to her and she's really open with me. I don't know, I just really like her because she's real. She, like, reminds me of a student. She's really comfortable to talk to you. You can talk to her about anything and she'll try and help you solve the problem in any way. And I love that. It's so easy. <laughs> 45 is close to kids. And see it's in the middle? Yeah. Now, stop. Get away. I need. See if you approve. Don't distract the model. He can't focus very well as it is. Okay, now you can take the pictures of his face as long as that light meter stays around what the middle. Are you going? If you're ever in doubt, overexpose it to the positive side. This is how. So roll the dial, looking through there, roll the dial and see what the light meter does. Now overexpose it a little bit just in case. It's better to overexpose than underexpose. So look at that face. Here's the zoom lens. <laughs> Don't get a bunch of background. Crop in on Justin. Maybe get some of his um, shirt for some variety. You could turn the camera too if you wanted it to be vertical. That was a hint. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> Quit! Okay, hold still, please. Okay. I'm using crop in my bottle. Okay. Okay. Me? Yeah. Okay, oh, so why? now, Justin, you looked away when she took that picture. You need to take about at least three pictures away? of the same, so that way if one's blurry or he blinks or okay. you're blurry or you move, then, you know, so you have backup. Okay, so get a little closer, maybe give her another side of your face. 
Make sure the light meter is a smidge on the positive side. Can I borrow your camera? <laughs> What's the light meter say? It says 4,000 right now. Is it positive or negative? Let me see. Okay, so that means that you don't have enough light coming in. So you go in the other direction. You want to be on the positive side by at least one. Okay, now I put it there for you. Okay. Get closer. Stop that. Take a picture. Make sure you get a little bit of a shirt in there. Like the top part of the ghetto boombox. Oh, you blinked. Now, I did not blink. Did you notice how slow that shutter speed was? Yeah. So that means you're probably going to have a blurry picture if you're not bracing your arms to your side and you're holding really still and your bottle is cooperating and holding really still. Okay. So it also tells me that you probably need more light. So let's get some more direct light on Justin. <laughs> Look, we want to accentuate the cheekbones. Now we don't need quite as slow of a shutter speed. Okay, let's go ahead and take that now. Okay. Good. How many was that? Like three? Four. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Now. Why do you have this video? I have to. For what? <laughs> so what's the emotion that is coming from this picture? Distress. How's it making you feel? You're feeling distressed? I'm feeling very confused. distressed. I'm feeling I feel confused. Like I'm not doing my duty as a lifeguard. No. <laughs> but it's kind of normal. Wow. So. <laughs> Glad I could make you feel that way. It's not good. <laughs> okay, well. I wouldn't um, jump in there because I don't know how to swim, but <laughs> I, I would just feel bad. Do you think this should be painted or should have been left as it is, just painted. black and white? Painted. I think it helps it when it's painted. Perhaps. But then I haven't seen it with it just black and white. Oh, it actually fast. did. You saw it on the monitor. It was at the end of the first But semester. I didn't see the frame around it, how the frame complemented it. And Schwartz and Weiss. <laughs> so. Okay, Jess, I'll still go. All right, one. so <laughs> I'm debating. <laughs> Keep debating. Let's debate it up. Let's go with Lydia's. Her flower collage. Oh. I really like it. Collage. Why? Because the colors, first of all, very vibrant and pretty. Wait. Oh. <laughs> and like, I really like the fact that the ground is really brown so the colors even you know you, they're even more they <laughs> more emphasis on them because of the bland color behind them see all this thickness down here yeah. it's way too thick oh, yeah. Here's yeah. A if we take our needle tool yeah. while it's good in oh, okay. straight okay. down yeah. I see what you're saying and then you go like this you get all off okay shut it off Cut it. Take it. Oh, I see. Look at how handy that is. That is handy. That is handy. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> you look like you're handy. Look, look, help, help, Matt. Er, look, look, help, it. help, Matt. Matt. <laughs> what? what? I think it's good. That looks I see pretty it. even. You might want to push that nail in a little. In, in I know, I know, more. but look, look. What? <laughs> it's good, bro. Chill. These are my pictures. They're beautiful. Yes. yes. Okay. No. So bottom of the frame. This frame. This frame. Bottom of oh, this okay. frame. To the line. Um, Five of them on this wall in ten minutes of even spacing. You have good eyes. So that can tell me what to do. I'm gonna put the middle one up first. Right there. Don't move, Jim. Yeah. He inspires you and lets you be you. She wants to see us um, succeed very much. And I love her.